Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is the grocery drop number four. Um, some stuff just came in, so I wanted to share with you guys. Um, just some little stuff here. Ordered some more clear gem fan flash. Uh, the 2540s and the 5152s. Um, like and clear uh, the best. With It kind of goes with everything. So, Especially when props are in view, it, it's kind of nice because they are see-through. But um, I picked up some more of these 1300 milliamp packs and uh, the 4S of course they're they're really solid performers and just wanted to have a couple more in my bag for those uh, extended flight days and um, on this little guy I showed you guys uh, this before I had a black one on the Ndichi Black Pearl I found that uh, this upper protection here when you, when you slide your battery in it really does help protect the front of your battery um, whereas this guy here if this slips forward, oops, not that thing. If this slips forward, the the battery can get hit up up front here. So I'll probably go with this guy, and they're ten bucks, so not too bad on that. Next thing here, guys, is the Leader 120 build. I wanted to go over real quick, and I've been waiting for these Emacs motors, and here they are. They are the 1106 motors that are on the Baby Hawk R. Now these are the 6000 kV so should, they should be really uh, well paired with 3S and they perform really well on the Baby Hawk R so I'm, I'm guessing they'll perform well here. Um, wanted to open up one of these here because here are the sunny skies which are nearly the same um, it's, it's just a 6500 kV 1106 versus 6000 kV so well, let's open one of these up and do a quick weight measurement here. There we go. We'll zero this guy out. So the Sunny Skies, they have just about the same length of wire. And actually those are longer, but I had cut those. So 6, six grams on the Sunny Skies and 6 grams on the Emacs. And uh, the Emacs looks a little bit taller. They certainly look bigger because they're squared off at the top, but when you when you line them up flush, they are pretty much just a millimeter or just shy of a millimeter taller. Um, the Emacs actually is has less um, actual torque on or thrust than um, the the Sunny Skies from what I've seen online on the thrust tests. So I'm gonna put a link in the description and also probably pop one up here on screen where I watch those thrust tests, but um, check it out guys. These are gonna go on the leader, so it's gonna definitely be a beast. Next item, uh, I guess kind of not so much quad related, but I don't know, you guys go out there and fly. I like to have some tunes going on, and I was looking for something to to bring that small. And has just you know good sound. I don't want to like go crazy with you know my music, but just to have it in the background with something um, something small and compact. I got this at Best Buy. Uh, they're about forty bucks, but um, good comparison on size here. There's the Leader One Twenty frame. There's a Win Five Valve next to it. It's really small, lightweight. You can clip it to your bag. But uh, I just like to have music playing in the background, so it's the Alltech Lansing Bluetooth speaker, Baby Boom, it's called. Yeah, Baby Boom. It comes with a sticker and some wires, but, you know, I like to have tunes out there, so just wanted to show you guys that real quick. Just want to give you guys some updates here on the Win 5L. Um, I will be using these grocery drops to do, like, updates on my channel and w where things are going and how things are going with my builds. So you can see here I'm ready to solder these these motors on um, I did choose the RDQ motors again and these are the race day quad badass 2205 2450 kVs I have the same ones on the Nadici black pro and they the, it's plenty fast so I went ahead and got these again because they're 1350 a piece and um, not such a big deal if I blow them up uh, not super expensive but maybe eventually I'll upgrade what I'm really excited to show you guys is what I chose to go in the Win 5L, and it is going to be the HGLRC XJB440, uh, the F440. 
And this is the one that comes with the TX20 V2 already. Uh, guys like Albert Kim and, and stuff have already reviewed this thing, so I'm not really reviewing it. I think what sold me was the fact that Albert did a build um, two or three weeks back on the Flowrider, uh, Kebab's new, new Flowrider frame. I always rip these things. But uh, let's see what's in the box. Get this little linear antenna. And it's basically the VTX information here. Uh, one thing I want to tell you guys about this VTX, the, the uh, TX20 V2. I have tried it, and it does work with smart audio. Uh, actually, it's it's going to be IRC tramp when you pick the peripheral in the uh, UART's ports tab there in Betaflight. But I am able to change channels in my Nemesis and in my iFlight iX2 because they both have this receiver also. I mean this uh, VTX. So you get the instructions for the VTX. Nice stickers, the usual stickers. And then let's check this out. Not the best packaging in the world, but looks like they include a capacitor here. Nice to add that. And this looks like the VTX here. And then this is what I wanted to get a closer look at. Just to have one in my hands and look at it here. And it looks really nice, guys. I can I can feel the weight of this ESC. And that's what I was scared of is the can this can the ESC handle 4S and larger motors and um Yep, Albert can prove that with his build. He used uh, the older F40 T motors, I think it was, and this stack right here. And he was ripping around uh, just fine. So, here's a closer look at it. Um, it is really nice looking. Huge pads for XT60 wire. Well, not huge, but big for a 20x20 20 20 stack. And uh, th these pins uh, look like they connect between the two boards. They line up right here and that's probably for just the FC power and also the motor uh, 1 through 4 signal. So this guy is going in the Win 5 and um, I'll get this all mounted up soon and I'll get a review out on that. Before moving on to the next item here, I want to tell you guys a quick thing and I'll probably go over this in my build review on this. The the motors that I chose, make sure you choose a 16x16 16 16 mounting pattern motor. That's something I had to contend with and right here, uh, the traditional motors are, at least on, in, the, in this size, the 2205s and up, are 16x19. So the way they drill the holes are 16x16 16 16 from here to here and here to here. So two of the motors are not going to line up because I actually went in there and I just kind of uh, bent the wires that way towards the uh, so that this wasn't sticking out because if I had wired it the way it would bolt on at the 16 by 16 pattern that wire assembly would be coming out here so I, I kind of just rerouted the wires carefully and reheat shrinked it and hopefully they work out okay all right so Here's some cool stuff here, guys. I think this is the last thing I wanted to go over today. This came today um, from Bold Clash. Actually, it came last night. And they did contact me, I guess, because I did a couple of videos and reviews and flight videos of the Bold Clash. Here's my good old Bold Clash here. Now, I really love this quad, but the motors were... were the motor uh, bells were popping off on impact. And I think it's because this uh, these hoops here that protect the props are really soft and they hit into the prop and a lot of the pressure goes to the motor bell these are the sunny sky 0705s that i modded in here but something is wrong with the vtx and the flight controller in my original model that's why i haven't had any videos of this i tried flying it um a couple weeks ago and it just it's, it's kind of wobbling all over the place and the uh, video was in and out and shaky, so I uh, wasn't really flyable that way. But um, Bold Clash reached out to me in one of my uh, review videos. They just left a comment there if I was interested in this. Um, what they did was upgraded the the uh, flight controller. 
and also they sent me five motors a new VTX pod um, a frame and the flight controller so thank you bold clash I appreciate it I will definitely um, get this installed into my bold uh, my bo6 and test it out soon I'll show you guys these motors here and from what I've seen and read online when these were popping off I know you're not gonna see clearly here um, but they add a drop of solder between the uh, the retaining collet and the motor shaft so if you look for a video on the 0703 bold clash um, updated motors you'll show they'll show them trying to pry this off and with the solder joint in there and it really holds well so it's just best that they did this because the FC they use has the connector and it makes it so much easier to change out I don't mind these burning out after some use you know but if you just bump the wall and a bell goes flying off like like they did before that was kind of disappointing and a lot of people commented that it, uh, it was happening to them also but uh, Bold Clash looks like a good company. They're trying to make amends for um, some things that weren't completely good on their first rendition of the B06. So um, this is the new motor. It's, it looks exactly the same. I think they just put a drop of uh, solder in there. But I'll double check to see if they did anything else to it. So yeah, they sent me five motors. Very nice touch because you never know when you get one, one defective one. And uh, also... Let's, let's open up this thing. This is the 0606, I think. Yeah, B0606. And um, I think uh, I've seen Frequent Flyer and Albert Kim, and I think even Nick Burns review this. And it's it's able to go on other whoops. But I'm glad they sent this because mine is bro it's broken. Oh, it even comes with a little lens cap. Pretty cool. It comes with the inductrix mounts. I remember seeing that on the reviews from those guys. It comes with uh, induct inductrix mounts and also with the B06 mounts. Pretty cool. So, just a standard um, B06 canopy here, and I'll be throwing this on the build also. The next item they sent me is. Let's see, is this open yet? Yes, it's open. All right, a new frame. That's great. So mine was took so many hits that it was really soft. Uh, this is a little soft too, but it's not beat up at all. You know, obviously it's brand new. So cool. They sent a frame with an extra canopy and mounting grommets. Very nice. And here's the thing that really is interesting here. I'm not sure what they did. I'm gonna find out exactly what the upgrades were but this is a test item and um, I'm sure um, you guys if, if you're even watching me I'm sure you're watching Nick Burns and Albert Kim but I think I heard Nick Burns mention this on one of his updates that they contacted him and he'll be also reviewing this thing so looking forward to that but yeah I'm gonna get that installed in here guys and along with the new motors new frame new V um, uh, camera canopy and everything and we'll definitely get some test flights going and uh, LOS and FPV and my review and thoughts of the new um, flight controller from Bold Clash. So that's pretty much going to be it guys. Just want to send a couple thank yous. My buddy that gave me this chameleon printed this for me. Crazy right? So now I have a proper mount for the Hero 6. So I'll be getting more HD footage and feel a little bit better about the side protection and everything. Thank you, Tony. Appreciate it. And um, just a quick note, guys. Over, I just want to go over uh, some things like the guys we watch that, that do these reviews and take their time to do them. Like, you know, Albert Kim and Nick Burns, Gal Kremer, um, NJ Tech, Drone Racer 101. A lot of guys out there, they, they have affiliate links. And um, a lot of them have, you know, normal jobs like like most of us so uh, their affiliate links help them out and like I use their affi affiliate links whenever I see something that they review and I like because I'm gonna buy it anyway I might as well click on their link what I do so 
definitely uh, help support these guys. I only have one affiliate, uh, just to complete disclosure here, which is Full Speed RC. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Remember to be safe and keep on flying. Take care.